Egghead will be longer than you think. Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd and today let's talk about how Egghead can potentially turn out to be a pretty big arc. Well, at first when we got introduced to the entire thing, I thought this was gonna be a transitional phase. We were not gonna spend much time on Egghead, it would just pick up Vegapunk, we'll move on to the storyline and do something else. But this is turning out to be like any other typical arc. I thought this would be one of those Zoe or Reverie arc where we would just get some info dumps, get introduced to a few characters, specifically one character, Vegapunk, and take them and leave for the next island. But the way everything is set up now, I have different opinions. Well, before we move on, make sure to like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. Now that you have, let's begin. Well, it all starts with how it's set up with Kid versus Shanks and Blackbeard versus Law. Well, I wanted to make a separate video on this on how Luffy literally avoided two of his biggest rivals. Rivals, nemesis or whatever, I don't even know, counterparts of his. By happen chance. Like, seriously. Luffy and Kid literally flipped a coin to get either Vegapunk and Shanks. Like, okay, Oda could do whatever he wants with the story, that's not the problem. But you guys see what I'm saying. The luck is always with Luffy, and it feels as though the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika has something to play with, play with this entire thing. Like, yeah, it's been promised that Luffy and Shanks will meet after Luffy becomes a great pirate, which at this point I think he is, but the story still isn't letting them meet each other, which basically goes to show that there's still a lot more for Luffy to grow, a lot more room for him to grow, and for Kid to basically get a rematch, and this time a proper rematch against Shanks, sort of insane. And imagine if the situation were reversed, things would have turned out to be a lot different. And when you have Law and Law and Luffy switch places because Law is smart, he picked the safest sea which turned actually out to be one of the hardest routes to go against, like to go through. And you have like someone like Blackbeard on the loose. So it's like yeah, the story is basically playing rock, paper, scissors with what with with every single one of them. And Luffy seems to be getting the best end of it. And I'm not gonna say, I mean, I will say the best of it because Luffy, in my opinion, is still not prepared to fight against Blackbeard. He is still not a great enough pirate to meet against Shanks and give him back the straw hat. So, again, it's playing rock, paper, scissors, and just because Luffy has his main character luck, Law and Kid are basically stuck with two of the most dangerous opponents on the sea right now. Well, doesn't necessarily mean that Luffy has it easy. Let's get back to Egan Island. Well, with these battles sort of concluding, I feel like Law and Blackbeard will wrap up pretty quick. Kid and Shanks might also wrap up pretty quick, but we don't exactly know the timeline events. But I did put up a theory of my LDAF theory where I said that it's potential that after Blackbeard win wins against Law, he is going to go to get the fourth pony glyph from LDAF. Shanks will be there, and Shanks is there, in fact. He'll probably beat Kid as well. It, it it seems unlikely otherwise. And Luffy, after having to deal with all this mess in Egghead Island, we will get back to Elbaf with Luffy, Vegapunk, and whatever or not. But the way it seems, it feels like the structure's just been pr planned out a lot more. Like, I feel like this battle will continue on for quite a while. We have the Straw Hat stuck. And now it's not just a matter of a rescue, uh, a sort of hit and run and escape. Now they have to deal with the major, two major antagonists. One, the traitor on Egghead Island. And of course the other being Kizuru and the marines that are coming. The way it's set up, it's a deadlock. They cannot escape unless they figure out who the traitor is, which I got spoilers for. I'm not gonna ruin it for people who don't know. Uh, it's gonna get revealed next chapter. And, well, now you find out the traitor, they have to find out the traitor, they have to defeat the traitor, then they have to beat the Seraphims, which probably, I guess, they don't really have to if they find out the traitor, which definitely is one of the Vegapunks. Like, I wouldn't... I never guessed it was anyone other than a Vegapunk, but that's beside the point. They have to beat 
whatever whoever this is and then probably take control back from the seraphims then you've got another wave of people coming then you've got another wave of people coming of like marines and whatever and the battle against the seraphims it seems as though okay maybe luffy zoro might have a chance against uh s hawk and s bear now that they figured out the lunarian thing and it's going to it's still going to take a while remember zoro did have a hard time uh, you guys go back reread Wano and specifically Zoro vs. King, it was a tough fight. And especially considering Zoro in his state, I feel as though, you know, it's not gonna be that easy. And of course you have enhanced abilities like the artificial devil fruits and lineage factors of like King and uh, whatever whatnot. But that's beside, but, you know, with that said, like, Okay, Luffy and Zoro somehow will handle them. What about the other Straw Hats? Sanji's fighting against Ed Shark. Maybe that will sort of pan out the same way, but as for the rest of them, how do you deal with a Snake? And you still have other Seraphim that we have no idea about, like S Flamingo, and S Crocodile, and I think S Bat? Moria, what do you call Moria? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we're still missing three of the seraphim which we have yet to see and we have no idea where they are we don't even know if they're on the island and if if i'm concerned this might even turn out to be something greater than what we think because remember what happened when we were going to uh when we were seeing the perspectives of uh helmeppo and kobe's friend i forgot her name hibari um, i'm not sure hiori i don't know never mind me and then you have garp saying that he needs to go to Hachinosu to meet Blackbeard to rescue Kobe. You have everything, and and Helmabu mentioned how they could probably take a few Seraphim from Egghead Island, which is very close to where they are, and then go rescue Kobe, which is entirely possible. And if that happens, we have a potential meetup between Luffy and Garp. And then you have Kizaru coming with Kizaru. Like, okay, for the Straw Hats, Vice Admirals at this point don't seem to be much of a threat but they're still a threat but we have kizuru and we have no idea what saturn could do like i really really have a hard time believing that saturn will be here trying to meet vegapunk and he really doesn't have any powers to sort of take down opponents or whatever like i don't even know how that that's gonna work Although you do have the mock, uh, you have, do have the mock three, uh, mock three. I think pacifistas online, but Kizaru can I think single-handedly defeat every single one of them and without much much of an effort. Like okay, it might take up some time, but you really think Kizaru would have a hard time against pacifistas? And that being mentioned, you do have vice admirals. We're sending like I don't know, twenty fifteen ships or whatever to uh, AK Island. And I think this just entirely will take up a lot of time. And the Straw Hats literally have no break. They're basically going to have to fight the Seraphims and then Kizuru and the Marines back to back. And find the traitor, defeat them, take control of the Seraphims, take Vegapunk and then get out of there. Which, in all honesty, I don't see it happening very quick. What I'm trying to say is, Elbaf might be huge, but Egghead Island might just be a lot bigger than we think it is that's it for the video if you guys like you know let me know what you guys think do you think it'll be big do you think we're gonna see a lot of fights and how do you expect the whole thing to pan out if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe have a great day and peace